You will never be expected to remember citation rules. You just need to remember that your sources must be cited and that you'll use a guide to help cite them. Most guides provide the same basic information, but organize and explain it differently. So use the citation resource that you prefer the most. Just make sure it is based on the MLA Handbook for Writers of Research Papers, 7th edition, or the Publication Manual of the American Psychological Association, 6th edition. These are the latest editions for MLA and APA style, so guides that are based on older ones will offer incorrect information. Let's look at some of the citation resources that you can use. On the right-hand side of the library homepage is the Quick Links box. Click on the Citation Guides link. Here you'll be provided with several resources for each citation style listed. On the MLA and APA pages, you will find information about their respective manuals. These will offer the citation rules for that style, examples of each, guidance on formatting a paper in the style, and doing research within that discipline. There are print copies available at the campus libraries. The guide also offers short and in-depth handouts that provide information about creating citations for some of the more commonly used sources for the Works Cited or References page. Feel free to open, print, and save these. There are links to two popular websites that provide very thorough and reliable guidance on APA and MLA. These sites can also be found using their URLs or with a search engine. Research and Documentation Online offers help for four styles including MLA and APA. Clicking the Documenting Sources link opens a drop-down menu. There are three areas that will be especially helpful when citing sources. The MLA List of Works Cited link provides information on creating full citations for the Works Cited page. There's a drop-down menu where you choose the source you are citing and are brought to a labeled sample citation. There will also be information on how to handle different citing scenarios, such as multiple authors, no authors, no dates, and much more. Back at the top, there is a link for in-text citations. Again, you can use the drop-down menu, or just scroll the page to find examples of different ways to cite sources in the text, with explanations on how to handle different situations, like having no page numbers. Finally, you can click Sample Paper to see a sample research paper that has been labeled with notes about formatting and citations. The second site in the citation guides is Purdue University's online writing lab, nicknamed OWL. Like the previous site, it provides information on APA and MLA style, including how to make full citations, creating in-text citations, and a sample paper with formatting and citing tips. OWL also provides useful information on writing college-level research papers, different types of written assignments, and common grammar questions. Let's talk about other common resources not found in the library citation guides. Many of the library's databases provide citations for the sources found within them. This tool will vary from database to database in terms of its name, location, and the styles that will be cited. If you are using a database to find resources, take advantage of the citation tool. However, the database tool is not completely accurate and you should review the citations for any small errors. A citation machine or builder, like this one from North Carolina State University Libraries, is another tool that you can use to create citations. Users fill out a form with their source's information and then the machine will format the citation with the proper order, punctuation, and italization. Citation machines will vary greatly in their accuracy. RefWorks and EndNote charge a subscription fee, but create very accurate citations and offer additional research services. Others will be free, but like those from a database, the citations produced using a machine should always be double-checked for accuracy. Again, make sure they are using the MLA 7th or APA 6th editions. Now that we've gone through some of the sources that help cite, we'll see exactly how to use them in the next tutorial.